Have you ever heard of hypercortisolism? What is it? How common is it? How do you make the diagnosis and treat it? What happens with hypercortisolism, cortisol levels stay high over an extended period of time and wreaks havoc with the body. Difficult to control diabetes, difficult to control high blood pressure, heart disease, liver disease, kidney disease, and many other symptoms like weakness, fatigue, and we'll, Phil will share some of those with us when we introduce him a little bit later. So where does hyper, where does cortisol come from? Where does this excess levels come from? Well, they typically come from the adrenal gland or they come from tumors that are located in various areas of the body that over secrete cortisol. And what happens is it takes a long time to get these get this condition diagnosed. That's a common scenario actually in type two diabetes, which I think explains why it's so tough to get the diagnosis. It's not unusual to get type two diabetes and not respond to medications. You need more and more, but sometimes you get to a point where things just don't make any sense.